Hello everyone, in this problem we are asked to find the Norton's equivalent that is to the left of terminals A and B. So here that means uh, the one which is inside the box. So here we have one independent uh, voltage source, one independent current source. So let us find the Norton's equivalent. To find the Norton's equivalent, first let us find the Norton's resistance. In this case, the independent sources that should be made 0. That means voltage is equal to 0 means it should be shorted. Current is equal to 0 that means the current source should be made open. Okay. So, here we have uh, 4 ohms. Here uh, it is open circuit. This is shorted. Again, we have 6 ohms. And here the terminals A and B. That means we have to find the Norton's resistance through this terminals A and B. So, we can say that 4 and 6 are in parallel. So, it will be equal to 4 into 6 divided by 4 plus 6 that is 10. So, that is 2.4 ohm. So, Rn is 2.4 ohm. Next, we have to find the Norton's current. Norton's current is nothing but it is a short circuit current. That means the terminals A and B, it should be shorted. Okay. So, we will bring back all the independent sources into positions. Okay. Into their respective positions. Then, we will find out the current that is I n. Suppose this is my current I n. Okay. So, what happens is this is redundant. This resistance is redundant because it is across this shorted branch. So, uh, I will not consider this in the calculation part. 7 volt and 4 ohm. What I will do is I will transform this voltage source. Okay. This is 8 ampere. Okay. I will transform this voltage source. Internally, it will be pointing towards a positive terminal. So, this is 7 by 4. Again, 4 will come in parallel, which is again redundant. So, I will not take the 4 ohm into consideration. Here, we have 8 ampere. This is 7 by 4 ampere. This is the shorted current. Okay. This is actually shorted path. We will see in which direction the current flows here through the shorted path. See, the magnitude of this is greater than this. You know, they are in opposite directions. So, we have to take the difference for the resultant. So, 8 minus 7 by 4, that is 25 by 4, which is nothing but 6.25 ampere. Okay. So, that is a current. So, what will be the direction? The direction will be of the larger magnitude source, that is 8 ampere. So, it will be in this direction. Okay. 6.25 ampere. So, this will be the current and it is flowing in this direction, right? It will be flowing through this direction. So, your resulting Norton current, it will be having this direction with the Rn as 2.4 ohm and then this is the terminals A and B. So, now take this part and write it. 9 ohm, this is minus plus and this is 10 ohm. So, this is the Norton's equivalent to the left of A and B. B terminals or else if you uh, if you don't want to find the short circuited current once again I will tell you you can find the open circuit voltage across this particular thing okay open circuit voltage so how will you find it out how will you find out the voltage across this particular thing see this one it is 7 this is 4 this is 8 ampere and here we have uh, 6 ohm resistor we have to find the voltage across this that is VTH so, I will consider this node voltage as VTH. I will ma mark the directions like this. So, this is 8 plus VTH minus 7 divided by 4. I will put the nodal analysis here plus VTH divided by 6 that is equal to 0. So, I will take the LCM of this 4 and 6. What happens? 2, 2, 3 and here you can see it is 12. So, here if I want to denominate a 12 that means numerator also should be multiplied by 12. So, that will be 96. And here 3 should be multiplied, 3 VTH minus 21. And here it should be 2, so 2 VTH. That is equal to 0. So, the uh, denominator it comes here and it becomes 0. 3 VTH plus 2 VTH is 5 VTH. 96 minus 21 is 75. That is equal to 0. So, VTH is equal to minus of minus 15 volts. VTH is minus 15 volts. So, here what happens? VTH is minus 15 volts. So, I will write this one like this and Rn is 2.4. Okay. And here this will be this. So, if you want to convert this to the current source, you know this one 15 divided by 2.4 means I can write like this, right? 2 12s are 2 5s are. Okay. So, 3 4s are 3 5s are. 
So, this is 25 by 4, this is 6.25 and once again you will have the Rn parallel. So, if you consider the Thevenins also or if you consider the Nortons directly, you will arrive at the same answer. Okay, see the direction, see the direction, both are same. Why I have taken this as minus plus but not plus minus because I have got minus 15 volts. If it was only 15 volts then I would have taken like this. Since it is minus 15 volts and we are measuring like this plus and minus we are taking minus and plus. Okay. So, this is all about the problem 9.14.